everyone. I guess you weren't expecting to see me when you hit that continue button this morning when uh, you were reading through the Elevate the Day blog post. But I'm going to try something a little bit new today. Uh, God really put it on my heart to send this message out in a video. And so that's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to do, because, you know, when we hear from the Lord, when we hear from the spirit of God, we want to be quick to obey. Right. Because there's a blessing. There's always a blessing. God doesn't just have us do stuff for no reason whatsoever. So I pray that this message blesses you. Um, and let's let's just dive into it. So I was talking about the movie urban cowboy and the song that came out of it uh, looking for love in all the wrong places and as i was reading and studying my bible the other day this really was heavy on my heart this message looking for love in all the wrong places and it occurred to me as i was kind of thinking over the last few decades of my life okay not not to get all you know oh my gosh you know decades of my life, what was I doing? No, nothing like that. But I was really just trying to see God's hand in all of these different seasons of my life. And we know that God is there, you know, even if we don't feel him, see him, you know, experience him, we know he's there. Um, and he always is working something out in our lives. And so it just occurred to me as I was looking back over these seasons, how, you know, God was moving me and using the various circumstances to get me where I am um, today, which is not, you know, the ultimate destination yet, right? We're, we're works in progress and God is always working um, to develop our character, to bring us closer to him, to deepen our relationship with him, right? Right. So as I was looking back, you know, certainly over those early years, my young adult years, um, and focused on finding the right God, you know, moving up the corporate ladder, you know, trying to check all of those American dream items off of my list, because I thought that those would make me happy. And the truth is, some of them did. They did make me happy for a time, um, you know. Good relationships did make me happy for a time. And then when they didn't last, not so happy. Um, moving up the corporate ladder, you know, getting more and more responsibilities or working on cool projects did make me happy for a time. Um, but, you know, really what was occurring to me uh, the other day when I was thinking about this is it really is a moment in time. Those things brought me satisfaction but it was only temporary. And that's kind of like how we are as humans, right? We, we, you know, are looking for this accomplishment or that achievement or, you know, checking this thing off the, uh, off the to-do list to make us happy. When this happens, then I'll be happy. If this happens, then I'll be happy. And again, it is true for a time, but it is not sustainable right? The only thing that's going to bring lasting happiness and joy is a relationship with God through his son, Jesus. And that is really what God has been showing me over these last, you know, many, many years as I have been working to deepen my faith, learn more about God's word, um, stepping out into doing things like this. I mean, if you would have said to me 40 years ago when I was graduating college and stepping into the corporate world that I'd one day be sitting at my uh, in my living room in front of a computer talking to you about the Bible and about God and about Jesus and what he has done in my life, I would have said, you're a little bit cray cray. <laughs> but this is what God does. This is how he works. Right. And so I really just wanted to share this message with you today um, to take a little time to think about where are you looking for love today? And is it the best place? Um, is it the right place? Is it really where God is wanting you to look? Um, recognizing that these things are temporary, right? That new job, it's going to be great for a while, but, you know, you'll get bored and 
you'll be like, oh, I wish I was here. I wish I was there. That new relationship will be great for a while. And I, and I pray that if it's a God ordained relationship, then it will be great for a long time. Um, you know, is that acquisition of, you know, the house, the car, the boat, the clothes, whatever. Um, is that really where your long-term happiness is going to be? And my, my message to you today is to really examine that. And if God is not at the center of your life, if a relationship with his son is not at the center of your life, then those things that you're pursuing will make you happy for a moment. Um, but a relationship with God through his son will make you happy and joyful on the inside for a lifetime. And I wanna share this, this, what came to me as I was studying this the other day. Um, and I believe it came directly from God because it just resonated in my heart. And I wrote down, you can find satisfaction in life, but you cannot find a savior in life. You cannot find um, that everlasting joy, that everlasting peace until you develop a relationship with God through his son, Jesus. And how does that start? Right. How does that start? Like, what does that even mean? <clears throat> well, in short, it's number one, believing that God is who he says he is, believing that Jesus is who he says he is. And how do you get to know God? Well, you look at his son, right? When my kids want to or when my kids friends want to get a sense of of how they were raised or what their parents were like. Well, guess what? They They look to me. They look to me and say, oh, you know my kids are like this because, you know, her mother is like that. You know, my kids look like me because, you know, um, they've got some traits from me. So same thing. When you want to develop a relationship with God, you look at his son. What did he do? What did he say? Um, and where is all of that? Well, there's a big fat book about Jesus and it's called the Bible, right? So if you read the Bible, then you're going to get a real clear understanding of who Jesus is. You're going to see his love, his compassion, his mercy, um, forgiveness, acceptance, all of these wonderful things that he offers to anyone who believes in him, believes that he is who he says he is, that he did what he did for us out of the abundance and unconditional love um, of God for us, his children. So I pray this message has blessed you. Um, and who knows, maybe you'll see me in a, in a future video in the future. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, I've been doing these blogs for four or five years now, quite, quite a long time. And maybe it's time to switch it up a little bit. So uh, God bless you. I'm praying for you and I'm so grateful for you. Have a blessed, blessed day, everyone.